In this presentation, we're going to see how to use service contracts for Microsoft Dynamics and AV. First, we'll create a service contract and then we'll see how to invoice a service contract. So let's go in the service module, contract management, service contracts, So we create a new system asks us if we want to use a template. We're going to say yes. And we choose a prepaid contract for, where, for hardware. We choose our customer. Now we're going to review the different tabs. So on the invoicing tab everything is pretty much already filled on the shipping tab we can indicate the site of the customer on the service we can select if it's for a particular service zone service peri period how many it's for uh, main preventive maintenance we're going to do some preventive maintenance each of three months on a three months basis and on the invoicing detail so far we don't have any amounts and we can select which invoicing period is it prepaid or not on a price update do we update our price so we're gonna do it we're going to do it every year so price increase every year And on the details tab, we can indicate if there is any expiration. So let's not put anything like it's a recurring contract. So on the lines, we can select a service item. If we look up, we have the existing service item of this customer. Let's choose one first. <clears throat> and now let's add another one so on the same contract we have so far two items and we can even select directly on item so it's not a service item but we want to include that in the contract as well So it's very flexible. You can have your service item or you don't have to use necessarily service item. We can indicate serial numbers. And so let's look at the line value. So the total of our contract, we need to just a refresh for the screen. Okay. $1,264. And uh, <coughs> we can change the line value. So let's say our third line, we want to have $100 a year. So that's the yearly amount, the annu annual amount, $1,300. So when we finished, we lock the contract, status is changed, and we sign the contract. The system asks us to create a first service invoice because we put a starting date at the 22nd of October and the um, invoices are done on a month by month basis. So it suggests to create a first invoice for the, uh, the days. So nine days to invoice. We go to the unposted invoices and we have the detail of the three items and we can we can post it. So if, if you don't want this first invoice for days to start the contract at the first of the month of the first of the period. Okay, so now it's a posted invoice. And to create 
other invoices you can use a batch that will review all your contracts so in the periodic activities create service contract invoices we indicate a date so we can fil filter on all the contract or some of the contract let's create them all and nav is going to create all the service contracts invoices and we can review them and post them so let's look once it is finished we should find them so 54 invoices created so they need to be posted we can review them and we can post them individually or by batch that's one example